Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Zendesk and Google Sheets. So the use case here is that whenever a new ticket is created in Zendesk, automatically add new row in Google Sheets with all the ticket information. First, let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Zendesk is a customer service and support ticketing software, whereas Google Sheets is an online spreadsheet program. The issue here is that Zendesk and Google Sheets don't have any integration between them and that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from Zendesk to Google Sheets. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google. And now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I will hover over this product section from here and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I am going to sign into my account. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free and create your free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. You can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so now I will scroll down. And here at connect, I am going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And now we are going to create a new workflow by clicking on this button over here. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'm going to name it as Zendesk to Google Sheets. I'm going to create it now. Okay, so now in this workflow, we are going to integrate Zendesk and Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. So first, I am going to integrate Zendesk with Pabli Connect. Then I will integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So here in Choose App, first I am going to choose Zendesk. Okay, now in Trigger Event, according to our workflow, whenever a new ticket is created in Zendesk, we want to send the information to Google Sheets as new row. That is why new ticket will be our trigger event over here. Now you can see we have other trigger events available. You can select whichever trigger event you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the trigger event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. So now I'm going to click on new ticket because this is our trigger event over here. So now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called trigger? Let me tell you that automations run on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, when a new ticket is generated in Zendesk, we want to send the information to Google Sheets as new rows. That is why new ticket in Zendesk will be our trigger event, whereas adding new row in Google Sheets will be our action event over here. So now when you come down here, you can see this term called webhook URL. Now you might again ask me, what is this webhook URL? How is it going to help us? Let me tell you that webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook URL helps you to build a connection between the trigger software application and Pabli Connect. So after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is Zendesk here. So now you can read the instructions carefully and now we are going to follow these instructions and we'll go and paste this webhook URL inside Zendesk. So first log into your Zendesk account. So I've already opened my Zendesk account over here. You can see I'm at the dashboard. Then click the admin in the sidebar, then select extensions. So here you can see admin and here if you come down extensions over here. Okay. So now go to the targets tab and click on add target link. Okay, so here I am the targets and I am going to add target. Then select the HTTP target from all of the target options are listed. Okay, so I am going to select HTTP target. 
then after that add new ticket webhook name in the title field okay so i'm going to add a name over here new ticket webhook after that copy the webhook url above and paste it under the url field okay i'll copy it and here in url i have pasted it then choose the method type post from the drop down and the content type should be json okay method is post content type is json fine select create target from the drop down list at the bottom page create target so here i am going to create the target after that click the submit button okay i am going to click on submit okay so target new ticket webhook created now i'll go back to public connect once you have set up targets navigate to settings go to business rules and go to triggers okay settings let me search for the business rules okay business rules is here i'm going to click on triggers okay okay so now here click the add trigger button enter a trigger name in the trigger name field so add trigger okay so trigger name is going to be new ticket okay click on add condition from the meet all of the following conditions and create ticket is created condition okay so here meet all of the following conditions so i'm going to select ticket and create it okay so i've added one condition over here after this click on add action and choose to notify target then select new ticket webhook from the drop down okay so in action add action so notify target i'm just going to select notify target and here new ticket webhook so now here you can see some json body is appearing so you can see copy and paste this json in the json body okay so i'm just going to copy it from here and i'll paste it okay i have pasted it over here after this create it okay so now i'm going to create this okay so we have added a trigger over here you can see trigger new ticket was created okay so now i'll go back to public connect okay so now i'm going to capture webhook response okay so now it is waiting for webhook response that means it is time to go and create a new ticket in zendesk so i'll go back to my zendesk account and here i'm going to add a new ticket so first requester i am going to search for this okay subject is going to be php issue okay so i have added the recipient over here in body i am going to write there is an issue in php want it to get resolved okay so now here i am going to choose okay if you want you can add some tags over here if you want you can also add followers type i am going to keep it as problem in priority i am going to keep it as high so now i am going to submit as new okay so you can see we have created a new ticket over here the type is problem priority is high you can see the requester is gary monroe and you can see the subject is php issue okay so now i'll go back to public connect okay so you can see public connect has already captured the data ticket id is here ticket title is here if you go down you can see status is open priority is high assignee name assignee email is here you can see group name okay so now i'm going to save it okay so here we have successfully finished our first step integration now i'm going to begin with our second step integration where we are going to integrate google sheets and pabli connect so now i'm going to click on this plus button over here and i'm going to add an action step so here i am going to choose google sheets now in action event according to our workflow whenever a new ticket is created in zendesk we want to create new row in google sheet that is why add new row will be our action event over here you can see we have various action events available you can select whichever action event you want according to your choice and if you don't get the action event of your choice you can contact our team at admin@pabli.com and our team will help you now i'm going to click on add new row connect with google sheets okay create new or select existing credentials if you have any existing credentials you can just directly click on it and you can go ahead 
but here I let it be new credentials. So now before connecting with Google Sheets, I'm going to go to my Google Sheet and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. I'll go to Google Sheets and I'm going to add a blank spreadsheet. So I am going to name it as Zendesk Ticket Details. Okay, so now I'm going to add some fields over here. Ticket ID, title, description, assignee name, assignee email, priority. So I have created all these fields over here. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. And now I'm going to connect with Google Sheets. So now here you have to choose the account where you have created your Google Sheet. So I'll choose it. Allow. Okay, you don't have to worry about your data. Everything is 100% safe and secure with Pabli Connect. So now here you can see we have some fields and we have to fill the information that we have got from our webhook response. And these fields are the fields that you created in your Google Sheet as headings. So here you can see it has already mapped the details. You can see the name of the spreadsheet is Zendesk Ticket Details. Same was here. This was Sheet 1 and the same is here. You can even see the field headings, Ticket ID, Title, Description, Assignee Name. All these were the heading over here. So we have got our fields here. So let us map the information. Ticket ID. I am going to map the Ticket ID. It is here. Title. Title is here, PHP issue, description, I have the description over here. Okay, now assignee name, if you go down, you can see assignee name is here, assignee email for the email, priority, we have the priority also. Save and send test request. So we have got our API response, that means we have successfully integrated Zendesk and Google Sheets. I'll just save this now. Okay. Now let's go to Google Sheet and see if all this information has been stored there or not. So I'll go to my Zendesk Ticket Details Google Sheet. Okay, so you can see we have our details over here. I'll just extend this properly. Okay, so you can see ticket ID is here too, title is here, description is there, assignee name is here, email is here, priority is also high. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. Now I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'll go back to my Zendesk account and I'm going to create a new ticket. Okay, so here I'm again going to add a user. Okay, I'll just add these details. Add. Okay. Okay, subject is going to be Issue in sign up. There is a issue in sign up process. Need it to get resolved soon. Okay, so I've created this body over here. So now here in select a signee, I'm again going to choose Ashirai. Uh, type I'm going to keep it as problem priority. I'll keep it as low Okay, now submit as new Okay, so you can see we have created a ticket again over here and you can see the subject is issue in sign up Requester is here. You can see the time type priority everything is over here. So now let's go back to my Google sheet Okay, so you can see we have the information over here Issue in sign up with the title, you can see the ticket ID, description is also here. There is an issue in sign up process needed to get resolved soon. Assignee name, assignee email. Because the assignee name and email were same, that is why it has captured the same information. Priority is low. So you can see our integration is successful and it is working fine. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to explain you what has happened in our example. Okay. So in our example, what happened was first the information went from Zendesk to Pabli Connect, then from Pabli Connect, the information went to Google Sheets. So now every time a new ticket is created in Zendesk, new row will be added in Google Sheets automatically with all the information. So now we have successfully finished the integration of Zendesk and Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. 
not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.